destination wedding. If you are, you got to pay close attention. We've got travel specialist Lorraine Simpson here. With <laughs> occasion because you're going to talk to us about good good things and that's I know, what we love it's travel it's yes. my passion it's my addiction and i'm really trying to cure my addiction and i'm really searching for a cure actually no i'm searching for my car keys so that i can get to the airport again <laughs> anyway <laughs> i don't digress. want you to be cured we want you to tell us about all of the amazing places you've been to but first i want to you to actually define what is a destination wedding? What does that mean? Simple. Anything more than 200 kilometers away from the bride and groom's hometown. Okay. So it could be anywhere. Yeah. You know, it could be somewhere that's really not that far away, but you all go and you spend a week together or a few days together, and that becomes a destination wedding. See, that's surprising to me, because every time I think destination wedding, I think beach. Yeah. Right? And it doesn't have to be beach. It can be anything, anything. that's 200 kilometers Castle, away. Castle, ski yeah. resort. Totally. Anything. Up north. Yes. It could be anywhere. Yes, I did one in, a, in, in Asia recently on a, on a balloon in Bagan. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Your yeah. life. What is your life? Okay, what are some of the reasons why you might want to have a destination wedding? Well, of course, the first thing is save money. Yes. You are going to absolutely save are money. Are you going to save yes. money? Yes, Okay, yes, we're yes. going to talk more about you are, that. We'll do a cost breakdown in a minute, but yeah. I have to talk to quickly because I could take up hours on this. I mean, this is my field. This is how I started. Yeah. This is my business. So saying you will save money, yes, definitely you will. Um, you're going to be able to not have all the little extras like the cars and the extra decor because you have the backdrop right there. Right. Perfect. It looks already gorgeous. Yeah, sure, you're a little bit decor, but not as much as you would need back home. No cars, of course, right. and no dick, no uh, venue, and yeah. all this yeah, sort that's of thing. True. Right? It's going to be outside. Yep. So save money. You might actually want fewer guests. Let's say you're doing an Indian destination wedding or a cultural destination wedding and you know your parents can invite 300, 400, 500 people. Yeah. Do you really want to feed for 400 people? Yeah. So you want to cut the guest list down? Sure, let's do a destination wedding and let's make it quite expensive so probably people won't come as much. <laughs> yeah. You might have people Smart. coming from all over the world. Uh -huh. So let's say these people are coming from Europe and Asia and wherever and they're coming into the middle choose a location like that that's really easy to get to yes and it extends the wedding day you do not have one day oh, to just true. spend you know the statistics 2.4 minutes per guest if you have 150 people at the wedding 2.4 minutes because speeches food ceremony you're not really you know you're not really having much time so let's that's talk money help. money okay. okay so let's do a cost breakdown what are we thinking about when we're paying for a destination wedding okay so really the guests are gonna pay for themselves probably about two two thousand dollars a person is the average that's what my daughter's uh, paying for, for her guests at the moment mm -hmm. um, if you have about 30 people you can get the couple to go for free I said free it's true free oh so as long because as you get a good guest list going to the wedding your vacation is free yes and I'm talking sort of Caribbean all-inclusive yeah. I'm not really talking you know Italy in a castle but right. Caribbean all-inclusive is definitely okay that's fair now the wedding packages are a from anything from about a thousand easy to, to get a nice wedding package for about a thousand uh -huh. private dinner you will always pay for a private dinner even if it's all-inclusive you will always pay for a private dinner anything from twenty dollars up to a hundred dollars a person okay. the, but the total breakdown with your flowers and your bells and whistles and probably a DJ your private dinner mm -hmm. and everything you can easily do a very beautiful destination wedding for under five thousand dollars Okay. Yes. Can we? You Easy tell me what do. you mean by a private dinner. So you're not. Yes. So that means your guests aren't going to the buffet with the rest of the all-inclusive. That's guests. right. If they are, there might be a terrace off the restaurant okay. where they can have a semi-private dinner. Yeah. So you can have your table set out really nicely. You could yeah. even do your first dance, maybe an iPod, um, you know, an, an iPad sort of with the yeah. with the sound system. You can definitely do that. Okay. However, a semi-private dinner would probably be free and included in your wedding package. A semi-private. So, so yes. that's like the little balcony outside yeah. of yeah, the yeah. all-inclusive restaurant. Yeah. So yeah. The other thing is, yours, though, right? I want to talk about drinks because you're at an all -inclusive and you think that the drinks are going to be flowing yes if you're having a wedding there it's you're not necessarily you don't have access no. to those free drinks well do you? you do if you walk 20 paces that way you're going to probably get a free drink yeah. but if you want it right here and you want a little private bar then actually you're probably gonna have to pay for that bar location in mm. most resorts but okay. what you need is a very good planner it's okay. very very important that you find somebody who really knows what they're doing because so many things are 
hidden in the terms and conditions. You know, a lot of times the cheaper resorts will charge you more for the wedding. Right. And the more expensive resorts, they're happy you're there anyways. Yeah. So they're going to throw in a few extras. And okay. it's actually the other way around. Cheaper resorts, a little bit more money on the wedding. Yeah. More expensive resorts. Ooh, we need to get our money back. So we'll charge we'll you for the drinks. Gouge. We'll charge you for this, charge you for that. So. Hair and makeup. Hair and makeup, usually very good there. Mm -hmm. Bring somebody, somebody in your wedding party who can do it. If you're mm -hmm. really fussy about it, bring somebody. Okay. Now, you need to do sort of, I would do a little test on the resort, though, before you trust your hair yep. and makeup to someone, right? Yep. So yep. you can do yep. that a couple of days you before the wedding, maybe yep. do a little consultation? Yep. Okay. You can even go down prior to the to the trip. You know, you might go and do a, a site visit right. a, about a year in advance, six yeah. months in advance. Go and check it out. Go okay. and take a look and, uh, right. and do a site visit. So mm -hmm. good. Oh, my gosh. There's so, so much information. Much. We basically just, like, oh my scrape gosh. the surface. Be sure to check out cityline.tv for Lorraine's destination wedding guide. Yep. And we're going to have all the information from here and even more that you're going to need for your wedding. So much I could tell you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>